Hello, my friends. Today is December 29. Our topic is your real strength. My friends, are you really strong in your mind? Are you really able to take any criticism in a positive way? Are you able to forget the bitter past and decide to move forward? Our devotion comes to us from Luke chapter 2 verse 4. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. My friends, Jesus grew and became strong in spirit. Because Jesus was strong in spirit doesn't mean no temptation he faced. No hunger could be felt. No tiredness could he embrace and no pain and darkness was around him. Though he was strong in spirit, still he passed through all bitter experiences and challenges like how you are facing today. However, Jesus was able to face all the conflicts and controversies, problems and perplexity, pain and stress by the strength of the Lord. My friends, are you sure you have strength of the Lord to face all the problems like some people face on this earth? Are you able to pass through discouragements without any complaints? The question for today is how to grow in the strength of the Lord. I have three answers from the Bible. Number one, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, 8 to 10. Accept you are weak. My friends, you cannot grow until you realize there is a need to grow. Tell Jesus, I am weak, Lord. Let your strength be abundant in your weaknesses so that it is not you are managing your life, but God will live your life in you. Number two, Exodus 15, two, believe your victory is prophesied. My friends, never feel you are weak to be defeated. Never think people easily can shut your mouth. Rather, please remember you are not born to be defeated because Christ's victory is yours. You are even today a victorious person. Your battle is not for a victory, but to sustain your victory. Number three, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. Learn to take criticism easy. My friends, remember that because you are strong in Christ, there is criticism as your enemy wants to destroy your confidence and strength in Christ. Never give up. Never give chance to Satan. Here is the prophecy from Exodus 15 verse 2. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. This is my God and I will praise him. My father's God and I will exalt him. My friends, today, never give up. You are a victorious person. People will try to defeat you. People will try to dominate you. People will try to shut your mouth and they reject your opinion and suggestion. People will try to disrespect you and humiliate you and embarrass you in front of people. But never give up because you are born to win. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, though there are so many challenges on daily basis come to us, thank you so much for your strength, O Lord, that we can overcome all our challenges. Continue to be with us as our strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.